One dairy family's 1500 mile gamble may just be a national model for innovation. McCarty Family Farms was honored with the 2025 Leader in Technology Award here at the Milk Business Conference this week after transforming from a small Pennsylvania startup into a high tech powerhouse across the plains. In the open plains of western Kansas, where the horizon feels endless and the wind rarely rests, sits a dairy operation whose story is rooted in grit and risk, and a family willing to bet everything on a dream. For more than a century, the family milked cows in the Northeast. That was until the late 1990s when their parents made a bold choice that would change everything and reshape the future of the family forever. A choice that Ken says still amazes him today. All that credit's due to our parents. They had a big vision and hey, they had they had some serious intestinal fortitude. You know, my brothers and I talked about this often. We're not sure that we would have that faith and that courage at that age to risk it all and pick our families up and move them 1,500 miles and bet it all on bet it all on us, you know, and thankfully it's worked out so far. We were so convinced we'd succeed, we didn't know how to fail, and that's good because the first five to seven years, you know, we were one mistake away from failure, probably closer to extinction than we ever really realized. But despite the long days and tight margins, the family found strength in the people who took that risk with them, employees who believed in the dream before that dream looked achievable. And, you know, we were just determined that we weren't going to fail. We were very fortunate. A lot of our guys that started with us in 2000, you know, are still with us in 2025. But for the boys, perhaps the biggest leap came in 2012 when they built their own milk processing plant, a risk nearly as bold as the move from Pennsylvania. Their plant, built in a partnership with Dannon, lets them add value to their milk and opens markets far beyond Kansas. But that only scratches the surface on their focus on innovation. Since the McCarty's first planted roots here in 1999, the operation has grown to milk around 20,000 cows across multiple states with nearly 250 team members. But what truly sets the McCarty's apart today is their willingness to embrace technology, not as a luxury, but as a necessity. We spend a lot of time vetting that technology, working with industry experts, uh, people that are smarter than us and, and that understand those technologies better than us. And, you know, we're always searching for technologies that can fill a gap in our business. Finding technologies to fill the gaps in their business has become the McCarty's virtue and the foundation for how the McCarty's can continue to transform. As labor becomes a bigger challenge, as markets become more competitive, as the, as the demand for, you know, increased traceability or enhanced animal welfare or optimized sustainability, all of those things force us to look for innovation and ways in which we can optimize our farms. And a lot of that comes through technology, whether it be genetic evaluations and different breeding strategies, all based off of those genomic testing technologies to things like methane capture or feed additives that can reduce our enteric methane emissions and drive down our carbon footprint. Ken says their ability to get so granular with cow specific data and then use that information to make optimal decisions is what's fueling the operation today. And they're already looking at what's next. I, I really think a few things are gonna really kind of push our farms and our business to the next level. Uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence, uh, you know, using those types of tools to create pre predictive uh, analytics and tell us what's gonna happen to the cow before it happens. Uh, as well as the adoption of robotics. You know, I mean, our farms run 24-7, 365 in a diminishing labor pool. So the advancement of robotics allows us to continue to scale up, to continue to run our farms the way we want to run them, when we want to run them, how we want to run them, uh, and creates, honestly, a fixed cost where today labor can be somewhat variable. Even with world-class technology, there are still two issues that keeps clay up at night. Front of mind in Northwest Kansas is water. You know, it's not just Northwest Kansas, it's Kansas, Nebraska, Texas. You know, this whole Ogallal Aquifer and how we manage that moving forward is going to have a massive effect on how our operations run. And I think the, the big bear in the room right now, if you look across the nation, would be labor. One, it's hard to get. Two, there's lots of noise around immigration. Yet talk to the McCartys and they're optimistic. That says they're bringing in the fifth generation, a generation that's young, tech savvy, and willing to take even more risks. We're trying to bring back the fifth generation. We're a pretty young group. Uh, Ken's in his early 40s, uh, so there's a lot of life left in us. From a tie stall barn in Pennsylvania to a cutting edge dairy powerhouse on the High Plains, 
The McCarty family didn't just move west, they transformed the meaning of what a dairy can be, blending tradition with technology, risk with resilience, and building a future their parents once only hoped was possible. Congratulations to the McCarty Family Farms, the 2025 Milk Business Conference Technology Award winner. Congratulations again to McCarty Family Farms. Well, up next, dairy producers are navigating a mountain of challenges with too much supply and low prices. The one bright spot, beef prices, even though they have come down over the past month. Up next, Phil Plourd, Rick at Narabout, and Chip Mellinger. Join me to talk markets from right here at Farm Journal's Milk Business Conference. That's next. You're watching U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition.